Welcome back to WBTV News this morning here on Bounce TV. We got a very special guest with us here, the Mecklenburg County Health Director, Dr. Marcus Plesha, here to talk about something very important, especially for you parents who have students in Charlotte Mecklenburg schools getting vaccined. Uh, Marcus, thanks for coming in today. Sure. This is something I think every year it's safe to say CMS uh, deals with with kids not being updated on their vaccines, right? Yeah, there's a big push this time of year. It's very important when kids start school that they're up to date on their vaccinations. And so this is a time to really think about that. Check through your records, yeah. check in with your regular doctor, or we'll be having some clinics coming up that people can come and, and get their vaccines then if they need them. Yeah, let's talk about that because some people m might not be getting their kids vaccine because they don't really know where they can go to do that. And there is a clinic coming up uh, very soon that people can be a part of, right? Yeah, so the next two Saturdays, uh -huh. there'll be clinics. The first one will be at Mecklenburg County Health Department on Billingsley Road. Okay. The next will be at the Philip Berry Academy, uh, both on Saturdays, 9 to 4. And how does that all work? Do people just are able to People show can up just and come. Get it's first come, first serve. So, uh, you know, everybody puts things off. So there's probably going to be some lines, and that's sure. the downside to this. You can also go to your regular doctor's office. You can come to the health department anytime during the week. We have our immunization clinics then as well. Um, we just have these on the weekends towards the end here to help get everybody sure. up to date. Because there is a cutoff date for Charlotte Mecklenburg that's schools correct. on yes. students being vaccinated. That's yes, correct, yes. right? September 23rd. September 23rd. So that's an important date. You want to have your students vaccinated before then. Uh, there's really a lot of controversy <laughs> with some parents making the deliberate decision not to get their kids vaccinated. Why would you say that's not a good idea? Well, vaccines are very, very safe. We've had these vaccines for a long time. They've been carefully tested. Um, th there's really no risk to using vaccines. And the, the benefit from some of these diseases, which are terrible diseases, think about measles, for example, which mm -hmm. we thought had gone away, and now we've got cases popping up all over. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you were also talking in the commercial break about uh, seventh graders, especially there's another vac vaccination that parents forget to get their kids updated on. So Which there's one is a couple that? more vaccinations when kids turn 12 go into the seventh grade, and those are required as well. Um, meningococcus, which is a meningitis, an infection of the brain, uh -huh. and pneumococcus. And these are very important. Uh, they give you protection, and that protection confers up into when kids uh, graduate from high school and go on to college or start their sure. start their careers, and that's a time that people are particularly at risk. And to, those are diseases that are could be deadly, yeah, right? Those are if really you're not nasty careful. Diseases, yes. All right. So again, um, these two upcoming Saturdays are the ones you need to mark down in your calendar if you have a child at home who's not updated on their uh, vaccinations. They're called Big Shot Saturdays, September 12th, right? And September 19th, 9 a.m. Get in line early. Anywhere people can go online that you'd say is a good resource for them to kind of have at their disposal if they want more info? They can go to the health department website. They can go to the school's website. The school's has done a very good job about getting the information yeah. out. They've also got a website for the state immunization program or the Centers for Disease Control. All of those have good information. Good stuff. Thank you, Dr. Plesha. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you coming in and talking about it. We'll be back right after this break. You're watching WBTV News this morning.